Good morning. I'm T. Anthony Quinn. I'll be doing a piece from August Osage County by Tracy Lentz. Life is very long. T.S. Eliot. No, I mean, he's given credit for it because he bothered to write it down. <laughs> he's not the first person to think it, to say it, to feel it. But he took the time to write it on a piece of paper and he signed his name to it, so now you've got to say his name after you say it. Life is very long, T.S. Eliot. <laughs> Absolutely goddamn right, particularly in his case, since he lived to be about mm, 76 or so and he was only 30 when he wrote it down. A very long life, especially in those days. <clears throat> well, give the devil his due. It's not hard to imagine another poet would have dealt with his... Uh, his trial and come out on the other side all brilliantined and double-breasted and Anglican. Picture uh, Hart Crane or John Berryman, how they would have dealt with the situation of his first wife, the lovely Viv. Probably hot-footed it to the nearest bridge and jumped off. <laughs> Olympian suicidalists, but not Eliot, no, no, no. After a sufficient period of ecclesiastical guilty, Plop her in the nearest asylum and get on with the day. God almighty. You have to admire the survivor instinct. I don't know what it says about me that I have more of an affinity with the damaged. Thank you.